say yes, no, and I'm not quite sure. I don't know yet. Yes. Um, that's what you'll say. I'm not completely convinced, but I felt like they had Okay? So this is what we're going to do. I have no clue whatsoever. Your job is to try to persuade your classmates um, in here to come to your side, to your understanding, to see how you see this impeachment process. So, should President Trump be impeached? Raise your hand if you would like to go. <laughs> um, the Democrats have just been slamming Trump and trying to find every little thing ever since he got into office just to try and get a reason just to kick him out and impeach him. He's accused of asking foreign help to for, to interfere with elections, and then the day after he asks foreign help to help him in the next election. So for me, it kind of shows that he doesn't really care about um, what people think of what he does with foreign countries. One of his jobs as the president is to run foreign policy and deal with other nations. And he was just doing his job. Do you want him to not talk to other nations? It, if you if you read an article two, which is the executive branch in the Constitution, it says in section one all of his duties. None of them say get get um, information on your opponent. Saying that he shouldn't be impeached. The second that I said was a quote. How many months left does he have until the next election? Not that many. So if, if we're just going to sit here and have this argument until the next election, it's a waste of time. There shouldn't be an impeachment process going on when there's about to be a re-election. didn't want to become a... Like the Republic? You mentioned that, so um, like what the title that article is. So if we... If we let him, like, if he did do this wrong, if we let him get away with this... I'm not saying he's a monarch or anything, but they knew one day maybe a monarch would happen, and they don't want that. So I think that we shouldn't let anything go, and that's with any president. <laughs> I think they did an awesome job. The um, fact that they're 10 graders and they're 15 and 16 years old. Uh, I think civics is the best because it's the best subject due to the fact that it's real life. This is what's going on right now. So you take what has happened in the past and you use it for today. I don't think it's my job as a teacher to influence them politically. Uh, I think it's my job to teach them the, do, the two sides or the three sides or the four sides. Um, so it's not my job to say, yes, he should be impeached. I've had them probably eight or nine times, ten times. What do you think? And I was like, what do you think? And so it's, you know, I want them to tell me instead of me telling them. And I, I, I have hope. These kids give me hope every day in our future.